question as to whether it matters uh, whether God exists or not has a certain sense of irony to it because if God does indeed exist then he is back of everything, he is behind everything, he's the source of our ability to reason, he's the source of rationality, he's the source of everything. So in a sense it would be a bit like asking uh, while we're breathing the air, does air exist? Uh, nonetheless, it's, it's, it's a question that we have to ask. People can't help but ask the question. What difference does it make? Very often in some people's minds is a bit like asking, does the Loch Ness monster exist? Or do fairies exist? Does God exist, therefore? Uh, but it's a totally different kind of question <clears throat> because of the fact that if God is there, he is the all conditioner. He's not just one more thing in the universe. It's not like saying, well, Father Christmas exists and he's going to bring you uh, uh, presents at Christmas time. Or if he doesn't, then maybe it's your dad. If God does exist, it changes everything. It changes the very character of the universe. So the question of God's existence really comes down to a very personal issue, a personal level. It affects finally how we behave and how we live. We might uh, use the phrase, ideas have consequences. What we believe will ultimately determine how we behave. Uh, in the end, everybody, whether they've thought it through or not, live by a certain uh, maxim, an overarching principle that gives meaning to their other activities. Uh, often people haven't thought that issue through very clearly, but it's true. Uh, an overarching belief uh, gives us the moral authority or the criteria for the other things that we do. So what we believe can have a dramatic impact upon uh, the way we behave. We can illustrate that by referring to a story that Pascal talks about in his uh, Pensee, uh, a tremendous Christian thinker in the 17th century of a people in a dungeon simply awaiting uh, execution. He's saying that that is the view of the universe that the non-believer essentially has, that we are simply awaiting final oblivion. Now, if that is the case, then surely eat, drink and be merry for tomorrow we die is the appropriate, um, uh, is the appropriate behavioral pattern that we should adopt if that finally is all there is. Um, if we believe that we arose in random chaos from the goo through the zoo to you, then uh, in the end, if we're nothing more than animals, why not behave really just like an animal? And why be restrained by uh, moral authoritarian issues that seem to be dictated by religion? So we see how clearly that what we believe in the end affects our behavior. It's almost a law of cause and effect there, even if we've not thought very clearly through exactly what we believe and why.